Kia internet! I am down in Alexandra for the Easter break and I'm staying with my mother and she has some wonderful craft supplies and amongst them I discovered ink tense pencils and ink tense paint and that gave me a cool idea for a quilt. So I got a pile of white fabric and I'm going to cut this up into, I want five inch squares finished so I'm probably going to cut it into six inch squares so that I've got a bit of leeway because I don't have my cutting board or anything here so I'm going to be cutting with scissors. And then I'm just going to have a play with the pencils on the fabric and see what I can create. <laughs> pencils are a lot like watercolour pencils. You can draw with them and then add water to blend and manipulate the colours. But the big difference is that instead of paint, ink tense pencils are made of ink. So once they've been wet they actually become permanent and that includes on fabric, which is what really excited me about the idea. I decided to start with something that would be really simple to draw, so I started with a butterfly. I just drew the shape freehand and coloured in and then added water to blend the colours together. I think you're actually supposed to put sizing on the fabric first so that the colours don't run but I actually kind of liked the way the colour was leaking into the surrounding fabric. It felt like it was adding almost a shadow effect so I thought I'd just let it happen and make that part of the design. was having a lot of fun trying out different techniques but it didn't take long before I ran out of things I could easily draw. So I grabbed one of mum's colouring books and traced a few drawings from that which worked out quite nicely. But then mum came up with an even better idea. I was thinking for an idea for your for your materials pictures we, we could use my stamping because I've got massive of it. This ink is it stays on, it's a solvent ink and it's what I use, it's waterproof as far as I'm concerned. Hopefully they work because I'm running out of, of ink. I've got to use this. It's a bird one and I think it'll be so much fun. It's a brand new stamp. I, um, ink it up and make you've got to put lots on. Now right, I'll put it on. I find with um, the stamps and the ink that you don't lift it off too soon. You, you give the um, ink time to, to absorb into the paper or the material, whatever we're using. Lift it off, voila! All right, pretty good. And the idea is we're going to colour them in. stamp idea worked out fantastically well. We might have got a little bit carried away trying out loads of numb stamps. It was just so much fun. And then the rest of the family wanted to have a go too. We ended up having most of the family contributing to the painting efforts, so everyone had a go and everyone was having lots of fun and I've got all sorts of very colourful blocks of all sorts of styles. So I've ended up with a huge pile of fabric squares, all painted and coloured in different styles and using different techniques, which was exactly what I wanted. A big pile of really colourful blocks of all sorts. It's going to be an interesting quilt, but I think you're going to like it. <laughs> I 
hope you've enjoyed watching the process of us creating these fun little blocks and you'll have to wait till next time to see the quilt that I'm going to make out of them. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Ka kite anō internet. Mm -hmm.